Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. For Real Agriculture, I'm Kelvin Hepner at Manitoba Crop Diagnostic School in Carmen, and pleased to be joined once again here on the Corn School by Morgan Cott of the Manitoba Crop Alliance. And Morgan, this year in Manitoba, we have seen uh, the impact of drought stress. A lot of corn acres were seeded into uh, dry soil conditions, and that's had an impact on uniformity, uh, and we can still see that at this point. Yeah, we're definitely still seeing it. It's mostly visible as staging issues, obviously, in corn, some um, some corn seeds are just germinating now or have germinated with the last rain a couple of weeks ago and some is looking to start tasseling here. So we're <laughs> right across the board basically yeah. with staging. And w- what's the rule of thumb with corn? It's always, you want it all to come up within 24 hours, right? So yeah. this is not a good picture if it's if it's that stagey. No, no, yeah. today, this year is not ideal. Yeah, so as soon as the first corn seed emerges, you want every corn seed to be emerging within 24 hours of each other um, so that that will maximize your your yield potential. That's where you start basically. So that's that's step one in seeding to get depth correct, um, get into moisture, or at least hope to get moisture quite quickly. Mm -hmm. What can we expect in terms of the impact on yield and yield potential already at this point because of the staginess? So what we know off the hop with um, some research from Ontario a few years back is that um, plants that are two leaves different in staging, so one in six plants being two leaves stages behind um, would cause about a 4% yield reduction. Um, If you have four leaf difference, one in six plants being four leaf different in staging, that would be an 8% yield reduction. So this year we have everything. Yeah. So I would expect a a nice uh, medium in there, but I mean, it just depends on the, on the field and the, yeah, what, what the situation was like, but certainly going to see yield losses as a result of the staginess of the crop. What do we have in this plot behind here? There'd be two leaf growth stage differences here? I'd, I'd estimate about that. Yeah. This was our non-uniform spacing. So this was planted evenly, hopefully. Um, but I think, so behind you, we have um, a non-uniform emergence. So that would have been plants that are, we're showing staginess there, basically. Um, so I would say there's some that are further, um, but generally it looks pretty good. I mean, the height's there. Um, but I wouldn't doubt that it's two to four leaf difference in staging. Okay, yep. so taking a bit of yield potential out of the picture right away. Yep, 100%. <laughs> okay. That plot, obviously you're trying to demonstrate non-uniform depth at, at planting. Depth would be one of the few variables that a, a grower could actually have under their control when it comes to addressing this issue. Yeah, so obviously it starts with your planter and making sure maintenance is up to par and then checking your seed depth once you're planting and in the field. Um, to make sure you're at that one and a half or at least consistent if you're if you're planting deep that's fine especially this year but you want everything to be really consistent with depth so that your emergence will be uniform yeah it comes back to that having it all the plants come up within 24 hours yeah, yeah exactly all right thanks for your time again morgan and enjoy the rest of uh, crop diagnostic school here thanks calvin cool